good morning. It's October 21st. It's like 5.30 in the morning. I'm just waking up here at the fire department. Time to weigh myself and get ready to eat. No cardio this morning because it's leg day. Seventy five point two. Alright y'all, so this morning I was recording this vlog and I dropped my vlogging camera. It's broke. I don't know if it can be fixed. I'm going to try to get it fixed. If it's gonna, if, if, if it's one of those things where it's going to cost me more money to get it fixed than the camera's worth, then we just got to take the L. Uh, so I was vlogging this morning, dropped the camera for like five, for about two to five minutes, I'm not going to lie, I was like upset. I was like, damn. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, guys, stuff is just material stuff. It comes and goes. Um, I've been using my camera a lot, and there's been plenty of times, like probably dozens of, at least a dozen times where the camera probably should have been broken, you know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, I was able to record a lot of videos with it. This is my second time breaking the camera. So, luckily, I kept my Rebel, my T3i. Um, like I said, I was keeping it just due to the fact that I am working on getting another camera. So I'm so glad I didn't get rid of this one because we're going to keep the vlogs rolling no matter what. Even though this is a bigger camera, it requires a little bit more work to, to maneuver with. We're still going to keep these vlogs coming for you guys, alright? So, rest in peace to the power shot. Maybe we can bring it back alive, we'll see. So, just to give you guys a recap this morning. I went to the gym. I was going to record the leg workout for you guys, but like I said, the, can the camera broke and I just didn't, the battery was dead for this one, so I just didn't want to wait and try to wait for the battery to get charged up for this one. So, I'm trying not to look at the screen. So, basically, what I did was I went to the gym. I did some squats, a lot of squats, leg press, um, leg curls, leg extensions, calf, standing calf raises. Then, after that, just ran some errands. So, right now, I'm about to go to the store. Um, actually melt off my form my competition form I uh, submitted my payment for that so now it's official November 12th I will be competing there's no turning back so melt my form off so now I'm getting ready to go to the store and get a couple things I picked up ass eggs I'll show you guys all these eggs I bought so you guys can see the refrigerator is a little naked <laughs> me and my girl been traveling man but I uh, got all these eggs right here, which is about 14 dozen eggs I bought. So, and then I got all my meat prep right there. I cooked this all yesterday at work. So, it's pretty much 8 ounces of fish in each container. And then I got some ground, or not ground beef, but some beef in there. So, get ready to head to the fridge. I mean, tripping. Get ready to head to the store, like I mentioned to you guys. Um, I'm going to take this camera with me. I just got to pick up a couple things, and then we're good. That'll be it for the day, pretty much. And of course, it's raining today. It's been beautiful here like the past week. Not today, it's raining. So, 
People can't drive up here in the damn rain. All right, y'all, so we are at a store I have not been at in a long time, which is Walmart. Uh, just coming here to get a few things because the items I need, the prices are better. So just stopping by here real quick, grab a couple things for the house. Me and my girl need to stock up on some stuff. But uh, for those that's trying to eat good, eat healthy, but on a budget, Walmart is your best friend. Um, I did a video a long time ago um, showing you guys some of the things I bought from Walmart. Uh, if you want me to do another video like that, just comment down below and I will do another video. Uh, so I'm going to grab a few things and then we're going to head out because there's a lot of people in here, man. Alright, so on top of buying some basic stuff in the house, I went ahead and got some almond butter right here. I put it in with my uh, protein like ice cream that I make. And then I got a couple packs of pistachios. I've been eating these lately. I actually enjoy them. Um, I try to eat one pack a day. And then to help me get through my day on those, because I have low carbs, I got a monster energy drink. So I'm about to head to the house right now. All right, so ever since I've been living up here, one of one of the hardest things to me to adjust is just getting used to how people are up here. Like, you know how some people can just be rude, ignorant, you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily saying that something just happened to me. Just, just now, just saying like in general, like up north, man, you know, everybody, it, everybody up here pretty much is just like, we don't care about you, you know what I'm saying? Or it's down south, you know, people greet you, they say hello, how you doing, how's your day, whatever, open doors with you, open doors for you. You know, random people just talk to you. And ever since I moved up here, you know, that's just been a culture shock to me, just getting used to that. And I guess that's just the way it is. Like people grow up like that up here. And not saying that's everybody and not knocking it, you know, uh, it's just something that's hard to adjust to when you grew up in an area where, you know, people, talk to you people are nice to you uh people are not rude for no reason like up here a lot of people is just rude for no reason if it's in the stores if it's in traffic whatever man like and it's just it's just hard to adjust to but um i don't know man i just felt like sharing that with you guys you know you know this day and age especially with all the stuff going on in the world you know the presidential election all this other crap and you know we don't know who's gonna become the president end of the day man we don't have time for all this negativity and you know people doing little stuff like just being rude you know what i'm saying so uh i know that's random but i just want to share that with you guys so i'm getting ready to whip up some protein ice cream this will be meal number four uh 63 grams supposed to be 62 but it came out 63 no biggie gotta put some almond butter in there a little bit of almond butter and then we're gonna use some water all right so i'm gonna put in one tablespoon of almond butter uh, this is the crunchy almond butter, and then after that, we're going to stick it in the freezer for about 30 minutes and then enjoy. Alright y'all, so, protein ice cream is done, protein pudding, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm actually, let me get this camera focused. I'm actually about to eat this and then chill out for the rest of the day. It's raining outside, so not much really going on. Um, I'm sorry this vlog is really, really short. I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see the leg workout. I was really wanting to record that workout for you guys. But um, I was just next leg day. I got three more leg days before my competition. So my next leg day, I'm pretty much going to do the same routine. Um, I will record it. Tomorrow I do arms. So I'm going to try to record that for, got, for you guys as well. Um, other than that, I appreciate the love and support. Um, this has been a great journey. I'm right around three weeks out. I am ready to go murder some Cheesecake Factory, have some pizza, all that good stuff, and then get back on track. Because um, 2017 is pretty much here, and I have new goals, new ambitions, things I want to conquer for 2017. So uh, I'm about to get a head start on that. A lot of things I want to do, um, you know, a lot of personal things, you know, as far as just, you know, stuff with family, relationship, all that stuff that, you know, I would like to see happen next year. So I'm just definitely looking forward to next year. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you rate, subscribe, comment. Like I said, I know it's short. You guys didn't get to see the workout. Um, my next two meals for the day will be um, 
eight ounces of fish with one cup of Brussels sprouts and I will be eating 10 egg whites with one cup of Brussels sprouts following that meal so that's my last two meals for the day I already consumed four meals well this is meal number four right here and then uh, the other meals will be following this and I'm just gonna chill so till next time guys peace